Here we go. Course overview. Same course as it has been all week. Nice aerial view of the town there. Green line represents the spot, start pontoon. Up under the bridge, any arch you like on the first lap. Straight up to the top, still in the shallows. Now into deep water and up to the top turn. Clockwise around the top turn and back against the current now. Athletes tended to stick in very shallow area there and back to the shallows now. To the left of the little island, under the bridge and back to the start. No portage, of course, on the first lap, but all subsequent laps marked in red. Same course as that first lap, but when you get round under the bridge, we get to the portage, grassy portage with a sandy exit and entrance, and then the final lap. 1,000 metres round the boys just in front of the bridge and back down the finish tunnel. Argentinian. Okay, Argentinian's again unpredictable. You don't really know. Yeah, or hands up. Hands up on the raft. One more to go. There it is. And away they go. And first away, Faria. And now somebody's taken Faria's paddles out of his hand. He managed to hold on to them, but he lost his paddles momentarily there. And this side is Pavel Davidek and Jasper Mocha. Going well. All looks fairly well organised. I think Urban was also there up in the Barry, front. Barry Watkins far left. There's Watkins in shot now. 310 above him. Luis Perez, who Hank picked out and... Above him, 06, Stefan Boulanger. 327, Christian Mate. We knew he'd be there. And there's going to be a big coming together now. And he's in the middle. <coughs> oh, he's it's getting onto Barry's Tarman. Andy Burke has done well out of that. Christian Mate starting to lead the group now. Jasper's on and front wave. That's fallen very well for Jasper Mocker. And well organised. No swimmers in that coming together. And that's pretty impressive, to be fair. Mate's definitely got the, got the strongest pull. Adrian Boros off the back of that group in the white boat. Doesn't phase him too much being behind, no, does it? No, I said that from the start. He never starts fast. He seems to he pick his way through to the front. And uh, he's also not phased about that, so he doesn't waste energy. Um, they're going into, uh, into uh, the headwind now, but they got the current with them. So uh, Jasper's taken front diamond. So Christian Mate, Urban, Watkins, Boulanger, Mocha. Burkitt, Kippen at the back there in the orange boat. Tim Pendle also in there, just on the back of that group. Good start from him. And Boros in the middle there in the white boat. Dark sunglasses. He told me last year he's never afraid of uh, having that position. And maybe he should start uh, to learn to warm up a little bit uh, just before so you don't have to do it uh, during the race. But um, there he is. I think he's quite pleased with that position for the moment. Experienced enough to know that uh, the speed will go up and down and that he will be able to make it through. On the right hand sa side there, he was. So Christian Mate, as we've seen him so many times, leading. Pedersen on the outside in the white boat. Holding, Romalo holding him off, Romalo in the white cap, Watkins pushing on as well, trying to protect his position. I think a good start also for Romalo, he's uh, pleased with that, free water. Romalo just opened up a no little problem. window for one of the French guys there. Yeah. And here comes Romalo, Watkins wants to hold him off and he has done. A little bit expensive from Watkins this, there's only so many times it's worth doing that. Now he's given it in and he's going to close in on Jasper Mocker. He gets out of the way nicely. Well organised swap over. Burkett in blue. Going well. Yeah, I think um, Jacob Adams just on the outside of Andy Burkett. Um, He's, he's a workhorse. He's the type of guy that you want in the bunch uh, when, when it splits. He's going to be the guy that pulls you back. Um, and yeah, Andy's, Andy's he's looking relaxed. 
Uh, he's out of trouble. He can't get squashed there. Uh, it's not comfortable, but uh, he's out of trouble. Merchants on the far side on the diamond uh, in the grey boat. Yeah, um, nice. Looking relaxed, looking strong. He's out of danger. Um, those are the guys that you you got to be aware of because they they're the ones that aren't uh, expending any any energy at, at all. And Barry Watkins, that's a typical position for him. You know, I think if you count back the last couple of world marathon champs for the last two years, it's been his spot um, just after the start. You know, um, the trouble always starts after the next turn. So explain to the people out there. There's a group of I, I'm going to say 15, 16 there. And in your mind, you're, you're somewhere near the front usually of this group. You evaluate who's there quite quickly and you evaluate what their, their danger is to you, whether they're help to you, a hindrance to you, or somebody you've got to watch out for. How does it work? Yeah, for sure. You can see, you can see the guys that are relaxed to, to, to uh, forfeit the wave that you're challenging for. Um, and then you can also see the guys that uh, are stressed about you overtaking them. Um, they feel vulnerable. So the further back they go, uh, the more uncomfortable they feel, and um, and for me, it's, um, I'm quite happy to, to sit right at the back um, sometimes and see who's actually noticing where I am, and uh, maybe pick them off. Those are the guys that are actually um, the ones that actually want the title because they're the ones watching where I am. So for me, that sometimes it's it's a nice place to be right at the back, um, similar to where Josh Kippen is. He's he's relaxed there. Um, he's in a vulnerable position. He can't go anywhere from there. So that's that is the. The problem, if you are there, um, it's a downfall. But um, someone like Romalio, he's quite happy. He's right in the front. He's got clean water. He's, he's, he can get out anytime he wants to. But then you've got to look right at the back. And you look where uh, Adrian Boris is. He's just pulling into the bunch now. So it just shows you, like, you know, the race isn't won and lost in the, in the first kilometer. Um, Him. Jasper's making a move. Um, I think he's going to try and get in the eddy of the bridge. Here he's coming on the right-hand side. It's quite a bold move. What, what, what do you think he wants to gain from that? I think he's come out from the back and he's trying to get up to at least front wave. Um, if they spot him now, he's, he's going to have to work really hard. And he's on the inside coming up the shallow side. Romalo's going to defend his position though. This is, this is where someone can swim. That's, uh, that's one to Romalia, and here yeah. comes Andy to take up the other side. So uh, Jasper's going to be quite happy to go in the diamond. Mate has just come past. So great stuff there. A little bit of a pissing contest between Romalo and Mocha there. Max Peterson went from pulling to all this, of a sudden. This will be interesting if Barry tries to cut off Christian Mate. On the inside, Pedersen comes around Burkitt. Burkitt says no. Now that's, that's something that uh, Pedersen is going again now. But Pedersen's tried to come around Burkitt and if Burkitt was okay with that he would have just slipped back into the V. But his mate's in the V. So you pick the wrong person at the wrong time. He's, he's forced the pull now. Um, those are the things that, like we said earlier, there's a lot of guys that are going to try and establish themselves, and that's that's just energy sapping stuff for the guys that are wanting to waste the energy when it really counts, and not just to to take the lead. I'm impressed with Jasper's movement around the group. He's done okay. Well, he sat behind a really good guy for the last couple. Um, he's either fought for that or he's been given it. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Jasper's uh, sitting on second wave, so uh, maybe... And comfortably, though. Yeah, it would be good if he went there. up, maybe just... I think Andy would be quite comfortable Andy. to drop into the diamond. Yep. So those are the moves that, you know, every stroke you're taking, you're uh, using up energy maybe that you don't need to. Pen Pendle's got a big decision now. Do you move up on Merchan? Because Merchan can be mean on his day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look, he's on the inside. There is, there is current. Um, so you're going to drift away from the boys, so maybe he's thinking that he's not necessarily going to be, be squashed in. The boys, look they don't look all... It was directly. looking a lot better earlier in the week. Yes. They're not all in the good arc that they were. So this point now is really tight. And you'll see them all close so in together. He's made it, so he's made it. He's up over the top of the boat in front of him, though, which was Merchant. Merchant looks very relaxed. Looks very relaxed. 
Actually, if you look at all those guys' expressions, nobody looks nobody stressed. stressed at all. Nobody looks no. stressed. The pace is right down. Um, Adrian's right at the back, just sitting in the diamond there, comfortable. I think he's got his teammate, Mate, who was on his left. Burkett on his wave. And Watkins, Romalo, Merchan, no Romalo. Romalo, he, Romalo, something's, something's, something's happened. Gone wrong. No, something's happened. He's got something stuck he, on the front of his nose. He's got leaves there. on the front of his nose. He looks like he's struggling a lot. That boat has a very upright, very vertical nose on it. Something's, um, not, something's not looking good. I think he's going to pull into the seconding zone. He's shouting at somebody on the bank. And everyone will listen to him. This is his hometown. So. Here comes Jasper. So Jasper, Mocker, followed by Burkitt. They're the first two out. Jasper running strong. He's pumped. He's running really strong. Is he prepared to go once he gets in? He's, he, he did it at SA Champs uh, at our Nationals. He's going to do it again. Um, I think he learned his lesson. But uh, they're definitely going to put... Hurt. Like I said before, Jasper's uh, he's going to fight for it. He's going to dodge. Christ. Merchant just fell out. Again. That's just a sign of pressure, um, excitement. And we saw him do it twice in Hungary a couple of years back. Pedersen, okay, Christian Mate, up. it's all strung out now. Two South Africans, two French in the top five. Pedersen, have the best of races. Uh, today he's showing himself. Romalo is. The just, crowd's just gone just wild we've just seen Romalio come through. Hey. Look like, right. looked like he had something on his nose. They've taken it off. So uh, he looks, I think he's, he, his nose, he's, they've put tape on his nose. That means he had a, there's been a hole in the boat. Exactly. Uh, he stopped uh, at the, the entrance of the portage and, and fixed the boat and it had some tape on it now. You can see Urban just looking around, just, just monitoring the bunch coming, seeing who's coming up. Um, doesn't look like he's phased. Um, he's not trying to suddenly break to the front. Um, Boris just doesn't look comfortable. He, he looks like he's, uh, he just keeps you know, fighting from the back. I think he needs to, to make his way right to the front. You know? it's, it's taxing where he is. And, and it's also being noted from, from the front four. Um, but yeah, guys are looking super comfortable. The French are comfortable. The two South Africans, um, definitely, they haven't done anything uh, wrong from the beginning. And as yet, nor of the French. And uh, they look pretty cool at the front there. And as the race simplifies later on, there's a few less people around. Their job gets easier and easier. So maybe, I mean, the French have promised quite a lot over the last three years. They've come up massively from where they were say five years ago no for sure and they, they each time when they race they kind of there's a threat that they might do well and then it all goes horribly wrong somewhere along the line for them but uh, maybe this is their day jacob adam gonna make his way to the front if he oh, can fantastic move from jacob adam um jumped basically bridged that gap did the work jasper's gonna try and force his way through and it looks like he's successful Took out Boulanger that's from good. the V-Wash. That's a, that's a good move there from Jasper. Not too sure where he learned that from, but uh, that's definitely a good move. <laughs> it's a good move. It, it, it's probably not one you'd, you'd teach your kids straight away. It's a risky move, isn't it? There's, no. there's, there's close contact there Look, that's if, hard. If, if you do that move, you've got to be, be prepared for the next one because it's noted by the bunch. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's not taken kindly by a lot of other people. Um, but yeah, you're actually you're setting the tone. So uh, Jasper is obviously feeling confident, um, which is obviously a big threat to a lot of the other guys. Back. Here we go. It's going to be interesting to see this. It's too many people coming in all at the same time to just be... It's not going to be without event, this. Definitely. Boris... Uh, 
Well, I don't want to say that, but it's that juice didn't land on the grass. So that, uh, I don't want to say that, but it, I think it's quite noted. Jasper yes, running Jasper strong. Very nicely, very nicely indeed. Boros also there, all into their boats well. But it's Urban away from the two South Africans. Pedersen there, also Boros there. And this group split again. Pedersen fighting hard to get back in contact quickly. It seemed a little unnecessary. And away goes Mocha just as they come out of the turn. Christian Mate at the back there. Goes Kamalo has now got a very simple job to do. But being simple does not mean that it's easy. There are very few people out there who've got an average speed quite as high as his. So if anyone's going to catch up on their own, it is going to be him. I think now he's, he's racing for pride. Uh, he's a dangerous man. Um, he's got nothing to lose now. He's got the crowd behind him. He's just going to try his best to, to bridge that gap. And, um, and obviously, I mean, if, if he does get to it, he'll be dangerous. But uh, I think the, the front bunch is going to be, it's going to be noted and it's a long gap. Uh, it's Surely a gap. if he does get to it, he can't do any damage when he gets there. I think if you're looking at it now, he's around about 450 meters behind. There for a different reason. Pereira is the only one that I think that could be actually waiting for him. Can anyone help him apart from Faria though? I, mean, I think Faria is the only one that can help him. It's the only one that's willing to help him, to be honest. Here we go. This is Murchan. Let's hope he doesn't make a mistake again. Very cautious getting out there. And Italian a little bit ragged. Jasper, a little stumble getting out. But he's through it now and he's running well. Looks like Jacob Adams gone for the Here second Here comes lane. Jasper around the outside. Here comes Jasper. That's a proper run, that is. Now Merchan needs to be a bit calmer getting into his boat. Here you go, Jasper Here's running Jasper. in. It's going to get a bit tight getting in. Andy tidy. Merchan tidy this time. And Jasper's third third in, but tussling, oh, tussling with, with Boris. Pedersen. Or Pedersen, yeah. Oh, one all now. As he's running over the portage to see how far he's behind. To be fair, he's got a nice ladder to that front group. The groups are nicely spaced. It gives him targets all the way. He can leapfrog from one boat to the next. Away he goes, in well and paddling strongly. He's going to be back in at least two groups further up the field when he comes back here next time. It's 330 meters now. He gained uh, another 90 on this leg. So his race plan is, uh, is kept. If he does 100 meter each leg, he will be there at the, at the finish. I think uh, yeah, we've uh, we've gone through the halfway mock. It's going to feed off the crowd. Um, here we go. Let's see. Clean. Peterson clean. Burkett clean. Boris clean. Jasper dancing a little bit with all of them. Oh, Merchant dropped his paddles. So, Andy Burkett and Mads Pedersen. This is quite a strong group. If Jasper Jasper's can get in. the boat. And done calmly as well. Pretty impressed by that. Nice. He's relaxed. All of them. Pedersen's in first. Andrew second. All well into the boat. I think the Italian had a little bit of trouble getting into his boat back there. Boris looks like he's getting stronger as the race goes on. He's getting more and more comfortable. Jasper's... Jasper's bridging the gap. This is this is a this is a solid four. But there's your workhorse for the next group. If Pedersen decides to actually up the game here for four, he could actually help help those four get away. There's Mate running strong. Running Mulanger ridiculously is putting strong. In he's not going to go forward to the next group, Mate. But he's Mate's trying to bring the away. group he's with. And Faria. Faria, here we go. This is uh, domestic. Let's see if they can work together. There he goes. A nudge on the shoulder. Come on, mate. It's what he said there. Let's do this. And here we go. 
Romalo not hanging around. Faria's going to go with him. He can't afford to hang around. He, he's got to keep. And Romalo's just, just, just rounded the last boy. Stroke rate's high. He's still challenging. Jeez. He's still, still challenging. He presses on. Watkins has managed to stay oh, with him. Watkins. Watkins getting a free ride up the field. Nothing wrong with that. Faria to there. Romalo's left. The I'm tape is still on, which is also a good, good repair job. It hasn't come off yet, so that's great. That's, uh, that's encouraging. He doesn't have to do another pit stop. I'm sure Faria has spent many miles on Romalo's washing training. It is 225 meters now. They have lost uh, some ground, 25 meters or so, when the, the top guys increase the speed. Oh, it's great. This is great. Great news. The crowd's loving it. I want to look towards the front. This is a big decision. We, no one would have wanted this for Romalo, but it's adding to the event here now in the atmosphere big time. Doesn't, doesn't look like uh, Andrew's uh, pushing the pace. Yeah, he's, he's waiting. If you looked at the screen, go by. Yeah, they all know, we all know how hard it is to catch up two minutes. The cost is huge. It's just whether... One, two. Still going for the one, and two. I'm not going to jinx it. That's the white boat of Romalo in shot now. Oh, the gap is closing. And he's, still, he's riding wave, but uh, I think he's going to do the big surge to jump the gap. I, th I think there's a couple of people there who appreciate what's happening and are helping him out. I think... You know, I also feel that they, they're willing to do the work, so they've got, they've got the... The right Here we go. To be with now him. he's taking up the pull. Here we go. And Willie Bridget now. He's going to close it in one go, I think. Stroke rate's picked up. Perea's still there. Christian Mate still there in the back. Here we go. It's down to what? I would, I'd guess about eight boat links. Six, six boat links. A good portage is what it's down to. Now. I think he's going to bridge and the gap before the portage. portage. <laughs> the front bunch. The front bunch is too many too many paddlers. I think if it was down to four, I think the pace would be higher. Peterson's, I think, is going to wait till the portage to maybe stretch it out afterwards. We actually didn't Job even done. need to know. We could have just listened to the yeah. crowd to know that he had, he had rejoined. So uh, officially, that's it. I knew he would catch up. I'll claim it. Now, now it's just a matter of conserving. He's just got to conserve. I, th I think he needs to start conserving after the portage. He needs to do a good, solid portage to move up through that crowd. He's moving out. He's, he's, he's getting out of the dangerous being on the inside. He's sort of... You can't go anywhere from the inside. Merchant's coming up. Here Merchant's comes Romalo. making a decent move here. Merchant wants looking to be back. in the front of that group. Merchant's looking back. He can see Romalo. Yep. It's been noted. Here he comes. We also got to remember that Merchant and Romalo were teammates for the seller. They they weren't allowed to race. Very good. They're really good. They're really close friends. If they get together, that they're going to be dangerous. There you can see he's opened the door. Here's Merchant. Merchant's actually doing the work now. You can see him talking. Merchant he's actually encouraging Romalo. He's working Romalo. hard to help Romalo get to the bridge, in touch with the leaders. And Romalo could come into this portage in the top six. Through goes the Italian. I think the biggest cheer has got to go for the, the pit stop crew that actually fixed his boat and it's actually done a great job. Because he's back in the race. He's officially back in the race. It's great news for the crowd. He's just got to relax now. Nice portage. Everyone out cleanly. Clean. First five, clean. Romalo out clean. Goes out six. Oh my word! So Boris pushed his, his own boat into the railings. I would question whether Boris's boat is actually okay after that. Peterson in clean. Peterson Andrews away. In clean. Burkett, so so cool. Mocha much better this time. Urban's there. Romalo. Got Chorus is there. Romalio being stretched. So I'm not sure what happened to Boris. I don't know if it was actually Mocker who caught the back of Boris's boat and turned it into the railings there. But we hopefully will get a replay of that portage where Boris ended up with his boat, nose of his boat buried into the fence. He was lucky not to snap the front off there. 
Okay, big move, I would say, coming up now. I think the pace has got to be pushed. Peterson's gone. Looks like a group of four. Boris has been stretched. Boris is still stretched. He's coming back. Here goes Peterson. Romalo looks like he's spent. Not Feeding only Romalo. Also, Merchan looks like he's spent. Is that Romalo? It's got I a hat it on. Is. I think it is. I think Romano's made his way into the front Romano's four. On the, that's it. Oh my word. If he can come out of this with a top five even, would be just extraordinary. Jasper's gone gone into the diamond. So he's he's sitting. So Pedersen is the loser out of that move from Romano. Pedersen's been knocked back a peg. Jacob Adams not going to be able to, to take on Boris in no. that front way. No, no. That's so, safe. It's going to be unchallenged. It's just where the Burkitt pushes Romalo too close to the side, which will push Mocker oh, back. It's tight now. It it's going to be tight. That's close to... That's Mocker's not backing Mocker's. off quick enough. He should be getting out of the way, really. He's too close to the paddle of Romalo for too long, but now it's settled. Okay. Here we go, final portage. I can't come Andrew's back winning. That. Here we go. I'm coming in first. Serious stuff now. Burkitt first in. Who's Romalo gonna is going to be second out of his boat here. Oh, it's got loud. Does it normally get this loud? No. This is Andrew's super. Out first. I think he's running hard. Jasper. Jasper's going to try and come around. Romalo. Romalo is hurting big time. Andrew's cool. He's, he's cool. He's just looked around to see if anybody's Burkitt coming. could be away here. He could get two or three lengths and be away. Romalo. Romalo's Jasper. hurt his leg or something. He's limping there. Oh, Jasper. Jasper. What a move. What super. a move. Super. One, two. I'm still safe. You are safe for one, two here, I think. Boris. Boris uh, is definitely in it. Romalo's got nothing left. He has got nothing left there. I think the big decision's going to come now. Is are you Boris or, or Jasper? Are they racing for the gold or are they racing for the medal? Medal. If they race for the medal, it's going to be an, an in sprint either side. Burkitt's done nothing. They can't possibly go past him, I don't think. Oh, this is fantastic. The South Africans back home are going wild. Absolutely amazing. Burkitt, Burkitt have done nothing during the race, just uh, playing tactics, doing it wonderfully. And here, here he is. Romalo still working hard to get back to this group. We see the opportunity now again. Rested just a little bit after the portage, but here, here, here. here Romalo is so tired. His boat is rolling. Jasper's having a go. So they're coming to the to the bottom turn. You, you you've got a little bit of an awkward situation now. Do you shut the door? Andrew's thinking he's got Jasper on the outside, on his inside. If he squashes the door, he, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. Jasper's making sure that he's not going to drop far enough behind that Andrew feels like he can shut the door. You know what's going to really hurt here is Urban has an incredible turn of speed at the end of this, and he could come past Romalo at the death on yeah. this one. I think Boris, this is my prediction, Boris is going to go early. Jasper's making a move. A little bit of a Not little convincing. Bit of a Not a convincing move at all. Burkitt's got this covered, surely. Oh, he's looking cool and relaxed. Pedersen's coming back. <laughs> Pedersen's back. Mocha again goes. He's not going to give this up easy, but Burkis just, he's not even in top gear. The question is, is he, are they going to go straight or are they going to head to get out of the current? I think straight. They've got no reason. If they stay together, they may as well be straight. Peterson's making a final charge to get on the diamond. The only one who can make a run for the outside maybe is Boris. I think Boris is going to leave it right to the end. He's going to let Jasper challenge first. You told me he was going to do it from a long, long way out. I mean, no, you, you can see. I mean, if you cover every scenario, of course well, you're going to be that right. Means I win. <laughs> I win. Of course you're going to be. You've, you've given me every possible scenario so far. So Burkitt, Burkitt looks like a nailed-on winner. Um, we um, agreed with yeah, all that. Yeah, we we there. Who, who's going to get the silver? That's. It's going to depend who goes second. I think whoever leaves second is going to get silver. First one to attack. I think Jasper's had his, his shot to, to yeah. try and take it, so I think for him, he's, he's going to just try and ride down the wave. Yeah. 
see if you can be as close to to Andrew as possible. And it depends if Andy Burkitt goes fast all the way through the line, because if he slows at the end, then both of them can come through. Oh, oh here we go, Jasper's going. Jasper's giving Jasper, it a shot. Jasper's taking Boris it. Boris is waiting. This is looking good for Boris. It is. Jasper maybe not thought it through. Oh, look, he's, like I said, he's, he's going to go for gold. That's his, his nature. He's going to try. He's going to try at least. Boris hasn't even tried at this stage. He's just sitting. He's got, to, he's got to give one last chance to the finish. They're going straight up into the current, so they're not, they're not trying to get out of it. It's equal for both sides. Jasper hanging far back on the wave. It oh. looks bad, but... Boris, Boris still Boris hasn't looks kicked. good, actually. He still hasn't kicked. Jasper's far back My on the wave, on but it's Andy. a good run down. Come on, Andrew. Burkitt's Don't let me down. Burkitt's got this. Jasper's Jasper's positioned well again. on the wave. He's well, he can come all the way down it from there. Oh, I'm proud to be a South African right now. Super proud. They've done well, the boys. Andrew's just kicked. There he goes. Open the tap. And the this others can't match him, but Boros is going to come second. Oh. Mokka's done. He's Boros going he's uphill. On. He's going uphill. Clean for the win. Boros second. Jasper third. Superb race. Oh, proud moment. What a great race. Do you want, do you want to go out and see him, Hank? Or yep. go, you go and interview him. Does that microphone work? Yeah, take it all out. Go and get all, get all three. Yeah, but you, you can push in on that. Okay, what a great race. Absolutely phenomenal. So many winners in that race. We're going to get some interviews. Romalo's been met by his wife there. She is his number one fan, always has been. She has suffered a thousand tortures today. Such a brutal way to race for Romalo. He comes out of it with his head held high.